let's get into my closet faves. Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's your girl, Coco Styles. And on this channel, we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and styling. So today, I wanted to bring to you, ladies, my favorite, I don't want to say luxury items because they're not all considered luxury. However, they are all really great quality pieces. So my favorite pieces in my closet. All right, let's get into it. I have pieces from lower end as far as $200 <laughs> up to probably $3,000, okay? So it's a nice range in my wardrobe. I absolutely love that because I solely don't shop based on designer but more so on the quality of something. If I do get something that is a bit more trendy, um, that is a designer piece, it'll be very rare, but I most likely will go for the color that will go with my aesthetic and my wardrobe. I did purchase a pair of lime green, Jimmy, I guess they were like lime green, Jimmy Choo shoes, I'll pop in a picture. And they're very bright. Nothing in my wardrobe matches them. However, when I do wear them, I do tend to wear them with the majority of my basic colors. So that's that. So I have things from bags to brooches to earrings, a ton of things that I feel are my favorites in my wardrobe that I tend to gravitate towards the most. When it comes to getting your cost per wear out of things, I am a firm believer of finding things that go with the majority of the things in your wardrobe so that you're wearing them a lot. You are a person who loves trends and who just has a ton of clothes you good girl. <laughs> I've always been like this since I was younger and it could probably be because I'm tall, but that's what it is. But let's jump right into it. The things that are my favorites in my wardrobe. Let's start with my bags. I don't have a ton of bags, but the bags that I do have, I definitely do wear them and I take really good care of them and they are all great quality. So my first bag will be this Gucci trunk bag. This is one of my favorite bags. And to be quite honest, I should have purchased both of them <laughs> when I saw them. I got this at Sawgrass in Florida. The original price on this bag, I believe was like maybe 38, 32 or 3,800. It was at the outlet for like 18. I felt like that was a steal for me and it's a beautiful color. They also had a green one. And to be quite honest, I probably should have got the green too because it was just a really nice green, not over the top, just a nice hunter green color. Uh, and those are the colors that actually will stay around. This red, it's like a reddish burgundy-ish. It will be around for a long time as opposed to like a really bright red that may go in and out of style. So this trunk bag is beautiful. It also has like this bamboo handle. It has a strap as well, and for the girls who are tall, it has an adjustable strap, okay? So if you want something like this, I would definitely say go for something like this. If you can put your money towards it or find something similar, I have never really seen anything like this with other brands with like this bamboo stick, well, bamboo handle, or with a strap along with it. So this is one item that I absolutely love in my wardrobe and guys, I really <laughs> wear this bag a ton. If I'm have a, if I have a neutral colors, I'm going to throw this on. If I want a pop of color, I'm going to throw this on. This is my second Gucci bag that I actually well I have, I have a few Gucci Gucci bags, but there's three of them that I really love the colors and I love the leather on them. This is one of my wardrobe faves. My second wardrobe fave would be this Mansour Gabrielle bag. Okay. I have this bag in two colors, guys. Two colors. And I actually want more. <laughs> and here's why. <laughs> These bags are made very well. Okay. Inside, they're actually leather too which is what I really like about them. I think they're a great size for someone who's a six foot tall woman. Um, if this, they have a mini version, 
which is not a bad bag. It has a strap on it. I probably wouldn't wear the strap, but I would probably wear that in the evening and not so much this one in the evening, if that makes sense. So I did a video recently about tall girls wearing small bags. <laughs> I think some of the girls was mad, but it's not that I'm saying that we can't. We cannot do bags that have short straps. It just it looks very weird on us and it just doesn't look proportioned. If the bag has an adjustable strap, we can definitely do it. But I absolutely love these. They're great quality. And these are around, they used to be $5.95, okay? I think they're like $6.95 now, but I still think they're very, they're a really nice bag. I uh, did a video some, I don't know, months ago about getting this one and it was actually on sale and it didn't come in a box so I was kind of like huh and they basically explained to me that you know they kind of changed their shipping which kind of sucked because initially when I got it I got it in this beautiful box and I get it most people throw their boxes away but I don't know when you're paying for something you want it to be delivered in a good way but this is these are the other two items that I absolutely love in my wardrobe and would I buy them again I absolutely would if you notice I got two basic colors that can go with a lot of stuff in my wardrobe I have another bag similar in color to this but it has more of a peanut butter color and this is more of like a true taupe color so that's the second thing well these are the second thing that I absolutely love and that's a favorite in my wardrobe and again will I buy them again I absolutely would the last bag that I absolutely love in my wardrobe would be this YSL clutch and again I got this from the outlet in Florida sawgrass so the quick story behind this bag I was looking for a clutch I was in what was that was it Jacksonville Tampa was that Tampa? I think that was Tampa. At the outlets in Tampa. And I don't know, in the morning I was leaving and I was like, dang, I need a bag that's like a simple clutch. I didn't want the one that had the hardware because sometimes I may want to wear silver and I didn't want to mix metals. So I went on YouTube, someone had this bag and I was like, where's this bag? It's completely sold out and I believe it was just like discontinued. Well, anyway, I ended up driving over to Fort Lauderdale in the morning and I walk in the outlet and I see this bag. They had a beautiful blue color, which I don't know why I didn't get the blue, um, but I opted for like another neutral color. But I absolutely love this bag. It's a nice size on the inside. I'm just gonna pull everything out. It's a pretty decent size on the inside, okay? Cell phone, wallet can fit in here. You can tell from the side, because sometimes when you buy bags, like, it's really skinny here. <laughs> but it's a nice bag. It has one pocket that's decent, but it's an all around nice bag. It has like a little snap button here to close it. And yeah, the last bag that's a fave of mine in my wardrobe, and I wear this a lot as well. Now, if you are into bags that have, now, if you are into bags that have colored hardware as far as silver or gold or even black on black, like the black metal, um, definitely go for that. For my wardrobe, it was best that I did this because I do like to wear different styles of jewelry. I don't have a ton of silver and I knew I didn't want to do that. I have more gold, but some days I just wanted to have something as simple as this. All right, so that's the last bag. That's one of my favorites in my wardrobe. Um, and I'm going to get into the next item. All right, let's get into jewelry. It's not a ton, <laughs> but my okay this brand Ben Ammon they sell really nice jewelry my favorite are there would be these these are my favorite earrings from that brand they are clip-on they're clip-on can you guys see that yes they're clip-on and the pearls are just beautiful 
I love these a lot. I think that anyone who has issues with their ears, definitely go for some clip-on earrings from that brand. And again, let me go a little closer. <laughs> it's Ben Ammon. So the thing about Ben Ammon, they make things, I don't wanna say custom, but they are made to order pretty much. They're in New York City and it takes a little while, but these are worth it. The other pair of earrings, and that, that brand is Ben Ammon. The other pair that I love, that I've had for a long time, <laughs> are these gold hoops. These are by a brand called Valerie. I think that's how you pronounce it, but they have not turned yet. I'm not sure what they dip these in, but I'll tell you this. These have been a staple in my wardrobe. They're really thick and I absolutely love them. And both of these were in the 200 plus range. Now most would say, okay, it's not gold. Why would you pay that much for them? Gold today, it's even, it's way more than that. <laughs> so, but these, these I don't wear every day, but the other ones I wear a lot. And I think they're dipped in 24 plated possibly because those things have not turned. Now I am very careful with them. I do not put like a bunch of oil on my ear or anything like that if I wear them. But these are another item, well two items in my wardrobe that I absolutely love and they are favorites of mine. All right, let's get into my footwear. I'm only gonna pull out two right now and that's solely because one is a pop of color and the other one kind of gives me Givenchy, <laughs> the shark boots. Um, but I had these for a while, but let's get into the first pair. My red, I hope you guys can see this. These are my red stored boots. And let me just come a little closer so you guys can get the full effect of the boot. It's not really coming up because it's a really nice red, but it's I think it's coming up a little... I don't know, like, not so red. <laughs> Zipper on the side so you can get your foot in, of course. Um, they're made really nice. The heel on them are nice and low. They're recently, you guys seen a video where I purchased the nude, the ivory color. They just weren't made very well, so I had to send them back. But those are amazing. And the other pair, these are Charles David boots. And if you guys can see, they have like the little skirt situation over them, but they're in suede. Amazing boots. Let me just, they're heavy, let me just put one down. <laughs> so they do come with the zipper here. Now one thing about zippers on boots, I'm very finicky, so these are not my favorite, and I'll tell you why. Well, they don't look bad here, they're made really well, but most boots that do not have a hidden zipper, like if the zipper is exposed like this, it's not made really well, these are, but I prefer the boots that have the leather over it where the, the zipper is actually hidden. The heel is nice, not too high, and they do have a stretch situation here if you have wider calves. But I have these in black and I have them in brown. <laughs> so those are two boots that I consider favorites in my wardrobe. And I'm definitely going to be wearing those a ton in the fall and in the winter. Another fave in my wardrobe would be my Gucci chain belt. You guys know how much I love this belt. It's very thick. The quality is amazing. And it's just very subtle. Like even though the GG is here, I like it, but it's the crisscross GG. So um, people probably try to figure out what it is. But this belt is so worth it. If you are looking for a chain belt and you want something just fully gold, as opposed to like the Chanel one, this is affordable. <laughs> well, it's not affordable to everyone, but it's definitely not a Chanel price but the quality on this belt is just unmatched in my opinion. I love this. Yep. 
<laughs> so this Gucci belt, and this is called the, what's the name of this belt? I forgot. I'm gonna get the exact name for you guys and then put it in the description, but they should still have it. I wanna say the price is still the same. If not, it only went up a few dollars, all right? All right, so that is my Gucci belt, another fave in my wardrobe. For those of you who don't know, I have been on a hunt for leather gloves like this for the longest. And Koss had these last year. They're really, really, really nice. They're just really long and they're just amazing, all right? These were 175. They are leather. So, hence the price. Now, there are designers who have um, ones that are more expensive than these, but the inside of it is like a suede-ish. Um, but these are really nice. These can be worn with a ton of stuff. Any crop jacket, any sleeveless jacket, any vest that you want to wear, anything that doesn't have any sleeves and you want to show off your gloves, definitely get something like this these come really high they come to about up here for the girlies who don't want anything that high there are a ton of other ones that you can get that come to your elbows um, but I wanted something like this for a really long time so I opted for these so this is another piece in my wardrobe that is my favorite and the last piece or items <laughs> would be my sunglasses I don't have a ton of glasses. I'm not the girl that's gonna buy a bunch of trendy frames because they don't really look well on my face. Some some of them are too bold as far as like the frame of the glasses or the lens of the frame is too small for my face. So I don't really go for what is trendy. I go for what fits well on my face. And the reason I do that is because I have high cheekbones and most of the glasses will look small <laughs> over here, so I have to opt for things that are oversized on my face. So the first pair of glasses would be these Fendi glasses, and I actually got these from the outlet as well. And let me tell you, these are subtle and they're nice. Very simple, big frames, glasses, okay? A black pair is something that we all need in our wardrobes. And I would say you can either get like a cat eye pair or a really thick um, classic style, or you can go for something big like these. I also have another pair that are by Celine, and these are tortoiseshell, okay? Tortoiseshell is not everyone's fave. However, they are a must in your wardrobe so for the girls who do not like all black glasses you can definitely go for something like this they're very fashionable and stylish if you do not like square again go for something that is a little bit more classic in style and the other pair which are really affordable <laughs> were my key glasses from the sweetie line I believe that's the sweetie line so these are super cute and Super affordable I think these were like 50 bucks if that all I know is that I bought two pair of glasses and one was free when they went into checkout all right so these are my fave my favorite items in my wardrobe this fall I'm going to be adding a ton of new things I don't know if they're gonna be super trendy or just pieces that are like classic in style um, and great in quality. So if you guys have been following me for a while, you probably got a little sense of how I am with my things. I don't really gear towards trendy stuff. It is solely because one was well, two things. It's not, it's never been my thing. And the second thing is that they don't cater to tall women. Okay, so I have to get things that work well with my body. Accessories are a really big part of my wardrobe and it should be a part of yours as well because it can make a really, really huge impact on your day-to-day -day outfits. So thank you for tuning in and if you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco We See You. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NYC and Coco Styles NY and my style blog, CocoStylesNYC.com. 
and Coco Styles NY for my style services. And I'm on tickety, tickety, talk, Coco Styles NY, C. <laughs> and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. So the outfit that I have on today is I have on this Frankie Shop Jack. It's like a vest. The, the, the vest is the statement piece. I just have on a pair of jeans. The vest is from the Frankie Shop. For me, as a six foot tall woman, it fits me perfectly. If you are smaller than I am, it is going to fit you oversized. It's going to give you a different feel. The shoulders are actually going to be much more pronounced and coming out. But since I have broad shoulders, it works well for me still, but it doesn't fit me exactly how it would fit someone who doesn't. But I will catch you guys in the next one. Ugh.